Hey guys, I'm Jameson with Rogue Engineer and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a drawer that is not only durable and looks great, but it's quick and easy to build. Let me show you how to do it. Today we're constructing a drawer for a vanity that I've made. Um, I've already gone ahead and edge banded and ripped the front and the back and the sides down to the appropriate uh, width. The height of the sides are actually gonna be a quarter, of inch, a quarter of an inch higher than the front and the back, and that just helps so that everything doesn't have to line up perfectly. In fact, it's intended not to, so it actually looks good. But before all that, you'll need to determine an appropriate height for your drawer, the width, and the depth. The standard depth for a kitchen cabinet is 22 inches, and for a bathroom vanity is about 20 inches. I had an opening of about six inches tall, so I felt like an appropriate drawer height was about five inches. The hardest part of this drawer is gonna be calculating the width of the drawer bottom, front, and back. So you wanna take the width of the opening and subtract an inch for the drawer sides, and then another inch for the drawer slides. Now I'm using Liberty Hardware ball bearing drawer slides, and this might not be the same dimension for all other drawer slides, but it is kind of a standard. So make sure you check out the instructions that came with them. But for the length, I want it to be exact. So I'm gonna take away the thickness of the front and the back, which is actually one and seven sixteenths of an inch. And I'm gonna use those dimensions to cut the drawer bottom down to size. So this drawer came together really easy and um, it looks great. It's a durable design. It's made out of pre-finished maple plywood, um, which you can actually order on homedepot.com. I will link below. Uh, the edge banding is pre-finished maple. It's an iron-on edge banding. You can get that on Amazon. I'll link below as well. And um, it's just an easy, durable, good-looking drawer and um, it you can build one in 10 to 15 minutes. All right, with the drawer assembled, we can take it over to the vanity and get it installed. All right, I hope you guys enjoy my video on quick and easy drawer construction. As always, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you won't miss out on any future project videos. Also, make sure that you like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram to catch some sneak peeks of upcoming projects. As always, be safe and happy building. <laughs>